So for those of you who don't know, I actually got married <laughs> literally two days after we came back from Muscle Bay. And it's probably the craziest thing that I ever done, but I'll tell you all about it. But let's get into the video. <laughs> This is one of my favorite coffee shops in Swellendam. I'm here for a pit stop. The last time we were here, we were told that the Maltots were the best, but they didn't have. And so now we're back and I'm making sure we're getting a Maltot. Look how big is it. Honestly, guys. It smells really nice. If you ever find yourself in Swellendam, I highly recommend you come here. It is one of the best places. They have coffee, lunch, whatever. So, I'll let you guys know about this. I'm trying the milk dot. Loving it. I taste a lot of milk dots, but this is so so good. Mm. Can I just stay here and eat milk dot forever? So I got a lovely paste drop on a Sunday, but it is for the beer and wine festival at Cape Gate. And it's about 20 wineries and breweries. And I got this amazing, I got my complimentary tickets, parking ticket, a little bit of information about what the festival is all about. And this lovely piece of food and I have really eaten the bulldog and the peanuts that came along with it because we're greedy like that. But Kurt and I have, well, more Courtney um, and I just sort of now came along with really enjoying um, the South African craft beers and just look at it. I've never had the Durbanville one but I've had the CBC but not the Raspberry one. So I'm really excited to try this. I said this one is my one and then Courtney can have these and then I'll try it out. And I've never, well, I've never been to the Northern Cape so it's really nice to see that there is a wine that is coming out from that province so i'm rather excited to see this festival and see the different 20 wineries and breweries that will be um on display and got some little crackers and some soft cheese like i said good and i ate all the other goodies but it's so nice to see the craft beers making a comeback this is the funniest thing ever. So we went to Muscle Bay. <laughs> we went to Muscle Bay. And we literally just dumped our bags. Got married. Uh, now we're on our way again. But I just want to show you our bags. This is my bag. One bag, guys. Literally one bag. That's got my week clothes in. Like a full week's worth of clothes in there. This scored me a travel bag. Like, I don't know what that bag is. It's got like all these like shoes in there. And a backpack. Like, me, Courtney. Three bags. And that's me. And these old girls were overpackers. Why not? It probably is one of the craziest things Courtney and I have done together. I mean, who says yes to a media trip literally in the week of getting married? But I thought, you know what, you only live once, let's just take a leap of faith. We've got other people that can do and plan and sort out things while we're on this trip. 
and it was probably the best decision yet. Yes, it was hectic. Our itinerary was crazy, we were running around all over the place, but it was an amazing, amazing trip. And um, if you have not seen what I've done in Muscle Bay, you're more than welcome to check the previous video out. I will link it below or I'll, you'll find it on top here. But yeah, I was, it's a weird thing. I still haven't felt it. Like I still don't feel like a wife, if that makes any sense. Because Courtney and I have been glued to the hip for like years. We travel together, we do everything together, and then we decided to live together like two months um, prior to our wedding. And I just feel, I've really felt like his wife, so it's weird. Anyway, and then we actually went on honeymoon like two days later, and we went to the Kalua, which is my absolutely favorite place. We decided not to do like an overseas or over the water or anything particularly outrageous for our honeymoon simply because we came from a trip and there was just such a lot of planning that goes into a wedding that you find yourself too exhausted to do anything else and I know of a lot of couples who they get married and then they decide to do their honeymoon maybe the following year or the year thereafter so we we're planning to do something similar to that extent and I absolutely loved the Kalua. It was actually such a weird experience because Courtney and I travel for the mere purpose of showcasing small towns. And when we go there, we literally are not on holiday. Yes, we do enjoy our trip, but we're there as content creators. And we go and speak to people, take pictures, take videos, etc, etc and here we were on honeymoon in a small town that we actually already explored um, actually quite briefly and <laughs> it was the weirdest thing because I did not have my camera in my hand I took a few pictures, yes I didn't do videos other than the smallest snippet that you saw or will be seeing and it was, it was weird it, like we were actually relaxing after um, all the stress that we have endured and Courtney was building puzzles I literally had been I was lounging on the, on the couch like the entire time with him came back we went to um, a hot bar for like a weekend and I was it was again raining but it was really nice really quick and then of course Courtney and I got sick, ha, <laughs> funny, but I can't believe that <laughs> this is actually a new chapter in my life and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm not saying, I don't have any advice if that makes any sense and I do not have, I literally don't have anything, I'm winging it, it's like I said, new chapter, new things new flaws and irritations to pick up <laughs> and that is what's going to be happening i do have tons of vlogs or videos that are needs to be uploaded and i'll get to that when i have some time to myself and i cannot wait to show you guys the amazing things that were planned we've got a lot of travel trips um coming up now in october and november so that is fun and interesting and I'm also thinking of doing more of like storage um, organization videos simply because I'm now in a smaller space, a really really smaller space and I often find that in South Africa there isn't really like storage solutions like we don't have like a Target or Dollar Store or you know those type of things um, in South Africa so I'm really looking to do something like that I'm not sure if you guys are interested in those type of videos and yeah I don't know what's what the future smell but I'm really excited for it and I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of me explaining about my life I probably the most boringest video that you'll ever find on this channel but 
oh yes and also i will be doing an introduction video as well because i literally started off this channel with a video of where i was staying for the weekend so that is coming up and it's going to be uploaded real soon i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you want welcome to subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy the content that i produce and yeah thank you for watching